Way too often I try to carry what God never wanted me to carry in the first place. Today, I know better than to think that God wants me to carry family hurts, financial pressure, regrets over bad decisions and bad things that I've done, and whatever else I might try to pick up along the way. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces Federale got my car full of brick cases Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces Got out, should've seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling Six times failing, I went back to prison Got my head right, got my bread right Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe Trying to do right, I got a mission Trying to get back to my boys in the prison The old me's gone, I ain't never... What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Wrong and Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, <laughs> mi familia, mi raza, you already know what time it is. Suerte la suburban, cause we about to take a ride. What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Wrong and Strong. All in his name, all in his glory. Thank you Jesus for what you did on the cross for me. Man, I took a couple weeks off. <laughs> vacation and uh, it was hard for me to get back to work again. I was really enjoying uh, just spending time with the Lord and, and not doing nothing all day. <laughs> you know, uh, after spending most of my life in prison and in transportation, because that's what they do, uh, they even have a word for it, it's called the diesel. They transport you for a year straight so uh, you could kind of like turn into like a scared little dog with your tail tucked in and it takes a toll on you. And this was one of the lessons that I had to learn that only God can show you how to let go of certain things. And I had, I had to learn this you know, throughout my walk. Um, when they're getting ready to transport you, they, they, there's a chain that they put around your waist. Then there's another chain that goes down to your ankles. Then there's another chain that locks your hands in place. And then we have the famous black box that locks your handcuffs straight so you can't move them. You can't get out of your cuffs. Well, it's impossible to move fast. It's impossible, nearly impossible to use the bathroom. But as criminals, we find ways to make it work. Ironically, a lot of us have spent most of our lives like that, so we find it not that uncomfortable. It's bad. You shouldn't be feeling comfortable. From aircon to bus to vans to even boats, transportation takes a toll on you. It really does. They get you up at two in the morning and you don't reach your, most times you don't reach your destination till about eight or 9 p.m. I look back now and I realize that the bus was the world and everyone in it was all those people doing the same thing out there in the world. You know, all the tough guys just in different ways. The chains represented all my past sins, you know, envy, jealousy, drugs, money, hurt, just everything. And that famous black box, it was the enemy sitting right in front. He had front row tickets to the whole show. So many years I spent sitting right next to the devil, my co-defendant, <laughs> that even when I was out of prison, the chains were still on me. That black box was still on me. It, it wasn't, they weren't removed. I was still living like I was in prison, like I was chained up. Today, <laughs> today Jesus Christ has broken those chains and taken that black box, that black box off my hands. 
Today when I drive, I, I cry. I'm not gonna lie, I cry every time I drive because today I know where I'm going. <laughs> I know where I'm going and it's Jesus that's sitting right next to me. He's my co-defendant now. Today I am free from those chains and I'm forgiven thanks to what Jesus did on the cross for all of us, for all of us. People ask me all the time, is this real? Is the, the feeling that <laughs> you're, like what you show in the videos, is it real? Man, I can only tell you what he's done for me in my heart. And like I told you guys, I've always kept it 100 on, on my channel. I've always told you everything. Why don't you take a walk on the yard with me? Let me introduce you to my father and my savior. I know it's hard for street people to actually believe such a miracle. I mean, how can it be, right? We've lived our lives, most of our lives, being hurt, being let down. How could something so beautiful and so big just happen like that, like a miracle? Well, God will forgive your sins. If you read Micah chapter 7, verse 18 to 20, these beautiful verses tell you how God loves us even when we sin and, and how he wants to forgive us. And for most, most street people, it's, it's hard. It's hard to really believe this because of how much we've done. Really bad stuff. I've done something wrong for which you don't feel forgiven. Here's something that you can do. Confess your sins by writing them on a piece of paper and telling God you're sorry for what you've done. Tear that pe paper up, all the evidence. <laughs> no co-defendants, only God. <laughs> Into tiny pieces and drop them on the floor and step all over them. Vacuum them up until they're all gone. That's how God forgives you. Now re reread. Now read that verse again and thank God that He has forgiven you your sins. Hey. My name is JC. I am Ron Strong. Don't judge nobody, stay in your lane, live savage, and remember, trust in Him. You'll find your purpose. Live it, walk it, read it, study it, listen to it, train. Train to be godly. Catch you guys on the rebound.